my life is full of pains my life is full of sorrows i don't know what is happening to my life right now i don't know what is going on be- between me and untouchable i can't even explain what is going on between me and him if anybody asks me what is happening i can't even say anything i can't even i don't understand anything i have been receiving messages from friends from fans Everybody is now threatening to kill me. I receive scary messages these days. Even someone came, came straight to my DM and telling me that John Laughter, anyway he see me in this life, he's gonna kill me. Like if he knows my father's house, he will go there and shoot my father. What have I done? Nobody knows how me untouchable start this journey. You guys don't know how he started this. I met untouchable met me in Lagos. He met me in Lagos and I was perfectly doing well. Now many people are insulting him that I'm an ungrateful human being. No problem. I believe that. But he's the only people that knows me very well. You know that I'm a cool guy, I'm a gentle person. For me to come out online to cry, to say all those things, people should know that this is not ordinary. This is not this is beyond all my expectation. I don't know. I can't I can't understand what is going on. Now, that particular day, Untouchable sent me out of his house. That particular day, oh God, when I was going, I was leaving. I don't know, I believe that they pay these people, they pay them, they hired them to come and kill me. Because these people, the way they reacted, they, were, they didn't react like fans. Because I, the beating I collected that day, they beat me like, like where they had their maltreating thief, where they are maltreating criminals. I receive pains. I receive beating. What did I do to deserve all those pain? What have I done to deserve all those pain? I will not mention anybody's name because I don't know who sent them to come to come after me. My life is I'm I'm scared right now. I'm scared because I don't know where else to go. My life everybody's looking for me. Everybody's looking for your laughter. Everybody's looking to bring me down. Everybody's looking in a way to beat me, to kill me. Who did I offend? I did never offended anybody in this life. Well, I, everything that is happening now, I don't know what is happening. Like, I can't explain. Now, they hire those men. Hefty, hefty men. I live see slap. I live see beatings. Can you see my hand? This is the, some injuries. But I can't show it very well because of Facebook problems and all those, all those things. My hands. If you see my back, I received beating that I've never expected. Thank God that police intervened in my case. If not, I don't know whether if I'll be alive saying all those things. I don't know whether if I'll be alive saying all those things. Oh God, God. Who did, what is happening? What is going on? What is going on? Who did I offend? I never offended anybody. I'm only saying my light. Everything, I'm, everything that is happening now is not my fault. Everything that is happening now is not my fault. People just stop accusing me of what I did not do. Some people come my day and say, you're a fool. You don't have sense. You're a grateful person. You're, on, on the table gave you five million. On the table gave you a car. If people know how those things is working out, people will not be saying all those. People will even say that the table is wicked. People guys will say the table is very, very wicked. I don't know how my life is going to be because I'll touch every street. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what, what what is going on in my life right now. I don't know what is happening. Everybody wants to kill. Maybe want to see John laughter. Just I walk in the streets. Boy started beating me. Say so why why must I attack untouchable? For me to say my own rights, for me to say what is bothering me. Now people ask, people, people are beating me up. My life is not safe anymore. My life is not safe anymore in this country. My life is not safe in this Nigeria. I can't even go out again. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know what is going on. I never offended Dr. Chebu. I served this guy for good two years. Why is he treating me like this? Why is he treating me like this? He keep pranking me. He know. He knows that I'm not in good mood. I'm passing through a lot these days, and he's, he has the mind to prank me. 
Now people are after my life. If people want to kill me, if I die, what will they gain? What will they benefit from all those things for hurting me? What will you gain for hurting me? What will you gain? What will you gain? I'm still a young boy trying to help my family, trying to build myself to help my family, to help my poor mother. My mom is in the village, my dad is in the village. I'm working hard to make her happy. And all those things is happening to me right now. Who did I offend? Who did I offend? Everybody created WhatsApp group, insulting me in the groups. They will create the group, they will add me, they will keep insulting me that I'm a fool. That I'm insane, that I'm an ungrateful human being. Everything is happening. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody, nobody's asking of me. This is the only thing everybody is saying that your laughter should go to hell. Your laughter should die. But nobody has seen the reason why I'm standing all, saying all those things. Nobody has nobody have seen the truth behind all these things that is happening. Nobody has seen the truth. Nobody has seen the truth. Untouchable has blinded you guys' eyes. Untouchable has blinded everybody. Everyone now believe what he says. I don't have any way to stay. I'm just squatting with my friend. And even the place I am is not, is not safe for me. It's not safe. It's not fucking safe for me. Because even in that street, they are still threatening me. They are still threatening me. Even this last night, I didn't sleep there. I have to, I have to go somewhere to sleep. Because I, I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know. My life is at risk. If you, I don't know. I don't know who are after me. I don't know who are after my life. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. All this is happening. I don't know where all this is coming from. I don't know what is going on in my life. I don't know what is going on in my life. <laughs> I never offended anybody. I never betrayed anybody in my life. Why all this is? Why now? Why now? Why me? Why me, John Laughter? Why all this is happening? Everyone has turned against me. I don't have any friends again. Everybody said, John Laughter, you're a fool. Everyone has turned against me. Everyone has turned against me. All my brothers called me, my cousin brother. Everyone was like, what is happening? What is going on? Everybody is everybody sorting me. But nobody wants to listen to me. Nobody wants to hear me out. Nobody don't want to hear me. Nobody wants to hear me out. Nobody, want, nobody, everyone, nobody knows what I want to say. Why all this is going on in my life? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Because I want to make my mom proud. I want to make my family proud. Now I'm saying the truth. I'm saying that I deserve everything that Untouchable did for me. I deserve everything that he's not even paying. He didn't pay me. He just gave me what I, I deserved. He just gave me what I deserved. We both suffered. We both contributed in ourselves. We both bring money to promote ourselves. But I know that we all cannot blow at the same time. We all cannot get fame at the same time. Everyone has their own time. Everyone has their own time. Now everyone has forgotten. Nobody knows how I started. I didn't start comedy today. I have been doing comedy since 2017. Till now I never give up. Years back, last year, last two years, some people can notice about me. I will shout you. I'll be begging for 1,000 naira. I'll be begging for 2k. Please help me because I don't have money. I, because I never want to give up. Because if I give up, people will laugh at me. Everyone was like, when I was starting this, many people were like, you will not make it. I should go open this line. That line is where I supposed to belong to. I didn't. I overlook all those things. I I never give up in my life. I motivate untouchable. I pray. I, every midnight, I do my midnight prayers and I fast. I do all things to make sure that I'm living peace. Untouchable, untouchable give me his ATM card. He has a lot of money in there. He has millions in there. But I will never. I, I know his pain, but I, I have never one day collected one thousand naira. Say, on, I collected it and I did not. I never touch Untouchable money. Untouchable will give me five hundred, one million, two million. I will hold it and he will come back. One naira will not be missing. Why now everybody is misunderstood? Everybody is misunderstanding me. What is going on? I work for Untouchable. I served him. I've been loyal to him. I never collected Untouchable dime in my life. Untouchable will give me money. Do this, do this. I will come back. Even if it's one day and I remain as a change, I will come back and give it to Untouchable. 
I used to I be loyal to him. Despite that untouchable, I'm not untouchable's boy. I am not untouchable's boy. I'm his guy because we started together. He met me in Lagos, man. He met me in Lagos. He met me in Lagos. He met me in Lagos. My life is at least if you should want anybody that is threatening me, if you are, if if you had anybody that is threatening me, it should be careful. It should be careful because my life is at least for, for untouchable. God will judge you for me. God I serve will judge you for me. I swear to God, God I serve will judge you for me because you're a wicked, you're a wicked human being, you're a wicked person. You are very wicked, you are very heartless for you to come online and tell them the truth. And they are hiding, they are covering up, saying all those nonsense. He broke my car, the car that I work for. Now you made everybody believe that yes, he dashed me the car. I work for this car. I work for it. Five million he gave me. I have been shooting content. I have been doing everything. Untouchable, you are wicked. I don't want to say much, but just that even if you should pray for me because my life is at least everyone wants to kill me, everyone wants to frustrate me. Everyone wants to cause pain in my life. If you kill me, what are you going to benefit from this? What are you going to benefit from this? I think I'll have to stop here. I need to stop here. I need to stop here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs>